What's good YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be discussing what I have at my barber station here. I did do a barber station video about three years ago, but a lot has been changed. Uh, a lot has been added and taken away from the arsenal. So this is just an update on what I'm rocking with in March, 2021. I do have a tool that is gonna be coming in next month. Uh, super, super dope tool that's coming in. Uh, so stay tuned for that unboxing. But today we are gonna go ahead and get to this barber station. I'm gonna break down what I'm working with and why I use it um, and where I got it from. So stay tuned, let's get to this video. Look. I just flipped the switch. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is basically the clippers that I use. So I do use the Babyliss Gold FX, uh, just the blade that it comes with. It is zero gapped. I have the 245 power clip on there. Get that charged up right here. I also have the Slimline GTX with the 245 power clip. Got the expansion pack. Um, JRL does not have a power clip yet, but this is a go-to clipper that I use for every haircut. JRL is basically on a pre-order with their the website, but a little barber supply in Fort Worth is how I got a hold of these. Uh, the GTXs I got from Ideal Barber Supply, and then I bought these off my coworker. Um, 245 power clips I got from Fort Worth Barber Supply. Um, I got the Andis Profile Shaver, the Rose Gold Edition here. And this is my go-to uh, clip or shaver. I use this for everything. Um, and like I said, the JRL, man, if you haven't seen my review on these, go check out the review. I really enjoy this clipper. Very powerful, very quiet. These ones are not zero gapped. So a lot of times I'll use my Babyliss to take out, you know, to get that initial uh, guideline in there, that bald line and fade out that from the trimmer to the clipper. And then I'll continue on with this from the half guard on up. Uh, it's just a system that works for myself. Easy to do, easy to use for myself. Um, I do use the premium guards. So you can see here, we have the little metal clip. I got the two guard, the one and a half guard, the one guard and the half guard, which are the guards that I do use the most. I got a fade brush, um, got the 245 uh, triple cartridge razors. I got a black one as well as a green one. I got those, got this one from Fort Worth Barber Supply. And I actually got this on, uh, 245.com and as you can see here we got the power mat the red power mat and also the 245 beam team xl which is not in operation right now i do have to get a hold of them to uh, get that fixed i've had this since it first came out which was like two two and a half years ago so uh, that's what i'm working with as far as the clippers is concerned um as far as uh see i got a blow dryer here which is, uh, this brand is Shrate. Um, my wife got this off of Amazon. It looks like a Dyson, but it's not a Dyson, but this thing is very, very powerful. It's very hot. It's got the high level heat, low level heat, and you just got the cold air. So I really enjoy this. It comes with a diffuser, concentrator, of course. And you also have your diffuser that comes with the uh, with the blow dryer. Also, in this left corner, you got my business cards here. So, you've got Executive Barbershop, uh, my personal number, my name, and uh, just how you can reach me on different avenues of social media. Um, as far as the background, I went with a multicam. Uh, just something real simple. Uh, the multicam, you know, I'm a veteran, so I had to throw in that you know camo in there somehow. Um, I got stickers for the shop that we give away to clients. Um, also, I have my shears, my thinning shears. And these right here are shark fins. Um, and then also I have a pair of cutting shears. I'm not exactly sure what brand these are. These were actually a gift, but to do the job, get the job done. And I know I'm sleeping on my shear game. And uh, I wanted to try those fresh ears that uh, Sean Cutera is always talking about. So that is in the works. Now in the drawer, we have uh, gloves. 
of course i wear mediums because i like them snug um got the the xl sanic neck strips which are my personal favorite i like to use those because um they're so thick that i can you know when i'm shaving the neck i can use the neck strip at the end to wipe the blade wipe the hair off on the blade also got a curl a curl sponge which i bought off of uh where did i get this from i got this off of wish it was like two bucks two dollars for that also got uh two brushes in here i got a brush with a coarse side and a softer side of course i got a uh uh another brush here to get the, those shapes for uh like different pompadours and stuff it helps to curl with the uh with the blow dryer and then also have an assortment of combs in here um i have a lot of different combs but there's only two that i really use oh no i didn't say two two i'll say a good handful um let's see this is a gerald comb has a parting uh tooth in the end uh, here's another one with a bunch of uh, wider teeth the the gerald combs all came in a set but I'm gonna put aside the, the combs that I use the most. Um, there's another wider JRL with the uh, parting tools, with the parting uh, tooth as well. And I got a pick and then also a rat tail. Don't use those a lot, but I do use, all right, so this is one of the combs I use the most. Now, this is a JRL, it has the wider teeth at the end and then thinner teeth on the side. So when I'm parting my hair, this tool comes in handy. Very, very useful. Um, and then when I'm doing shear over comb, uh, this helps right here to feed more teeth, more, more hair into the teeth a lot uh, smoother. Um, but I grip a lot more hair when I'm uh, taking hair to go with shear work. I'll get more concentrated with this side and pull more hair, smaller sections. This is for bigger sections of hair uh, or doing like uh, shear over comb. Uh, this helps out to feed more hair into the teeth. It's harder to feed hair into the teeth to do shear over comb with this side. But like I said, this is just one of the, the main combs that I use. Um, another comb that I use, of course, is going to be the uh, your fade comb. It's just gonna be used for a lot of clip over comb work, which is what I do. And because this is such a highly used comb for clip over comb because it's so wide and you can guide those teeth right it's just as it's almost just as wide as the the uh, blade of the clipper so that's another uh, tool that i use a lot and then uh, this right here i use for a lot more coarse hair um, it does have a uh, a parting tooth at the end but this right here i use for coarse more coarse hair because it helps me to directionalize the hair with the smaller teeth and I mean, you could detail your fade too. Also, it goes from like very small sections and it widens up as you get to the end. So this is a very good comb that I use as well. And then uh, lastly, another comb that I use a lot for like comb overs and stuff like that is this wide tooth comb. Use it for also for like crop top looking haircuts. It's just the wide teeth uh, give haircuts a more textured look. So that's the reason for using that. Now we'll hop over to a lot of the other, you know, miscellaneous items that I use. Uh, and this one right here, I have uh, cherry alcohol is what I put in here. And that's to use for aftershave. I have another brush here that I use for fading as well. Uh, it's getting beat up, as you can see. Um, I have some uh, Hunter 1114 glass sheen pomade. Uh, this is uh, for a more shiny look for, you know, comb overs and stuff like that. I also have uh, Harry's texturizing putty. Um, this is something that my wife got. It works pretty well. It's a very, very strong hold. Um, and another product that I do use that I just ran out of is the Suavecito uh, Matte Pomade. And that's another one that I use a lot. Um, I also have uh, aftershave balm uh, for, you know, different clients who, you know, are, are very irritated at the end. Um, it smells very good. It feels good on the skin. So I highly suggest using some of this as well. Have that, I have some type of aftershave balm in your, in your arsenal. Um, and then also have the 245 No Drip. Um, this is the Onyx black color. So this is the darkest color. And I, I generally have a lot of dark, uh, dark colored 
hair clients. So this is the uh, the, the color enhancements that I choose to go with. Um, I also have the Tune 45 Shave Gel is what I rock with. Very uh, smooth on the skin. Tune 45 products you can find at tune45.com. Um, the Hunter 1114 I got from Fort Worth Barber Supply. The Harry's Texturizing Putty. You can get that at Walmart. Um, of course, I got my barber side here. I got Cool Care, Cool Care, a brand new can of that. Um, and I got Oil Sheen, uh, Moisturizing Oil Sheen. Gives your hair a shine um, after the haircut. And then, uh, you got, of course, you got your water spray. You got a uh, neck duster, your sharps container. Um, and then also, we have the Ion, um, Hair fibers is what I use for a lot of different haircuts as well. Uh, I like to use the 245 no drip for you know beards and, and areas that are lighter, uh, thinning a lot less. But when you have a lot of thinning, this is a lot easier to use on those clients because it has that illusion of more thicker hair because the hair fibers actually attach themselves to real hair. So. That's how that works right there. Um, I got this little compressor here. This I got this off of Amazon for 50 bucks. And I had to get this because I have to get my Beam Team XL fixed. So I'm, I'm rocking with this right now. Not a bad buy for 50 bucks, I gotta say. It has a lot of power. So very happy with this purchase. I would say go to Amazon and get it. I could leave the link to this in the description as well um and with color enhancement you got to have your sean cuts hair color card and that's what this is right here this is the og there's no sean cuts hair color uh no sean cuts hair on there or no tune 45 logo but this is the og prototype that he had uh before he got all those um branded so that's what i'm rocking with here um i got a let's see I got a handheld tripod for, you know, when I'm vlogging. And then of course, during the pandemic right now, we always have to keep disposable, ma disposable face masks on deck because clients are always, 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 always forgetting their masks. Um, and then I got some disinfectant spray right here to spray down all my equipment chairs and stuff to wipe it down i got a derby premium blades is what i use um they're a lot thinner than the og blades the green box that you can get at sally's and stuff i have uh the black ice barber pencils you can see there black ice barber pencil this is a light brown and uh, this is a white so for darker complected clients i use the uh, the light brown and for lighter complected clients i use the white uh, to highlight edge ups and stuff like that um, to make that edge up pop. I have uh, some clipper uh, blade covers in here, the Andis Slimline uh, cover, and then also I have some hair grippers. This helps to uh, set hair aside and stuff. I have a hair tie, because you never know when you're gonna be doing you know, a hair that needs to be tied and separated that way. And these right here are crucial. If you don't have a pair of tweezers at your station you are going to need them because i don't know how many times i get hair splinters just everywhere and then you know you're over there trying to get those out because those can get extremely annoying uh, i got clipper oil and then uh, before i got the barber pencil i was using this uh this is a lip lining pencil it's a white lip lining pencil that i got from walmart that i was using and then of course you got a screwdriver because you're always messing with blades and uh in this drawer it's just I got extra slimline blade, extra nozzle for the 245 beam team, um, the air compressor, and then just so many guards. Yo, if y'all need a number of guards that you don't have, hit me up. I'm pretty sure I got it. Bottom drawer, miscellaneous stuff. Also at the station, do have a trash can. Got barber side at the bottom. Um, a bottle of uh, cherry alcohol. Got a gallon of water that needs to be thrown away because it's got basically nothing in there no more. Uh, 
the Pro Foil Shaver Box, disinfect and wipes to wipe down everything. And then also a lather machine um, that the whole shop uses. And then also we got the capes that I use. I do have like, um, what do you call it? Three different size uh, neck lengths uh, for different clients. So I have a small one for kids, uh, you know, a, a bigger, a medium sized one for thinner necks and a really thick one for bigger necks. Got my knife and flag apron. It does need a wash right now, but that is my apron that I use here. I got some more hair clips in there and a couple pins. I got a stay winning pin in there. Uh, just a, just some little decorative things to put on the, the, the apron. I do have a review on that apron unboxing. If you have not seen that, I've had this apron for like almost two years now. So it does the job, uh, it keeps hair off of you. It's got a cross back um, harness on the back so that that's very comfortable. I got the J blend signed. I had that done by a client. So that was super dope. Just a, a very um, awesome thing. You know, when clients just come at you with, you know, random gifts. So, and you know, he seen the YouTube channel, he supports the channel. And so he got that made for me, put it on the backdrop of my station. Got a 18 inch light ring uh, that we have here. The brand is newer. So that's what I use there. It's a decorative piece up there, license. And also uh, my mirror that I use on a daily basis. Got uh, another gift that I got from a client, which is this picture here. And this right here was a mob hit in, uh, you know, back in the, the mob days. Uh, I believe the person that was killed in this was Albert Anastasia. So, you know, that was the way back in the Al Capone days. I uh, got my name and my phone number so people can reach me. But that'll pretty much do it for the station I got there. We got little things up here, you know, past barbers that worked with us. This is like OG stuff from when we first started the shop. Entire shop has a dope vibe. Um, you know, everybody loves the shop vibe here. Super, super chill. Had to straighten that out a little bit. But like I said, past pictures. Got a little album cover up here. But shop is vibes here when everybody's here, when the clients are here talking to smack. Nothing but vibes. But that'll do it for my station review. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, you know, going through what I have back here at my station. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. Like this video, it just helps us to get more, um, you know, favor with the YouTube algorithm and whatnot. But I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you are subscribed to this channel, I truly thank you. Uh, we've already reached 2,100 subscribers so far. We just hit that 2K not so long ago. So we're just on the road to 3K, 5K, 10K, whatever it may be. But uh, stay tuned. Like I said, got more videos coming. But until next time, God bless.